All right, hello. How are you today? Do you remember that this week we were talking about animals that lay eggs? Well, do you remember some of them? We spoke about chicken, um, duck, some bugs, um, and fish. Fish also lay eggs. And there are also some very interesting and funny um, animals that lay eggs that we didn't know about it. Like the echidna and the platypus that we saw on Monday and Tuesday. Well, did you know that the penguin lay eggs? Yeah, the penguin lay eggs. One at a time. And they live in a place that's very cold and there is snow all around. So the egg cannot touch the snow. So the daddy, the, the daddy holds the eggs on his feet like this. He put the eggs here. And then the mommy goes all the way to the ocean to bring food. And they share this. They share this responsibility of holding the egg and keeping the egg warm and safe. It's really cool, isn't it? Before we start with the first activity of the day, we are going to read a book about penguins. Are you ready for that? Let's get started. The Brave Little Penguin by Rachel Elliott. Little Penguin looks just like all the other penguins. He has a little orange beak. He has two tiny wings. He has a soft white tummy. But Little Penguin is not like all the other penguins. He doesn't like diving under the blue waves and he doesn't like splashing in the sparkling ocean. Little Penguin is scared of the water. Everyone loves playing the snow. Little Penguin likes the ice helter skelter best. He slides around and around and around. This is so much fun, giggles Little Penguin. The other penguins dive into the water. Come with us, little penguin, they call. But little penguin is too scared. Everyone loves sliding on the ice. They wheeze and spin and skid. Little penguin goes fast as of all, but then help! He wibbles and wobbles on the very edge. Oh, I nearly fell in, he gasps and his little wings tremble. Poor little penguin, says little seal cub. Don't worry, I'll play with you. Little penguin and little seal cub race and chase each other. They go around the icy glaciers and through the powdery snow. Then whoops, little penguin skids on the ice. Help, cries little penguin. Swish. He slides down the snow bank. Splash. Little penguin is in the water. At first, he's scared, but then he kicks his legs. He flaps his little wings and whoosh. Suddenly, he's swimming. This isn't scary, says little penguin. This is fun. Little penguin plops back onto the ice. That was great, he laughs. Do you know what want to, do you want to do it again? Asks little seal cub. Yes, please says little penguin come on and play with us calls little penguin i'm not sure whispers little polar bear the water is a bit scary little penguin gives a great big smile i know exactly how you feel he said i use it to think the same way Whee! little penguin and little polar bear slide and splash into the water little penguin and his friends had lots of fun playing the sea I'll never be scared of the water again, said little penguin. And he never did. The end. Okay, we read a book about penguins. We saw a video about penguins. And now we know a lot about them. But can we make our own penguin out of shapes? I think you have there um, a piece of paper just like this. With some shapes, right? With some circles, with ovals. With Two circles for the eyes and triangle for the feet and for the beak. Can we cut them and put them in another piece of paper? You have one, a proper one. That's a scenario there. I don't. So I'm just going to put mine here. Can you cut all the pieces? Can you do it with me? 
let's just start with the orange triangle that I have here. How many triangles I have? I have one, two, three. Let's cut them. Two, three. There we go. Two. Oops. And the, the big one for the big. Three. There we go. We have three. Now let's cut these two pieces here. This one and this one, that they're the same, right? Out. Okay. This is for the arm, for the arms. Did you know that penguins don't fly? No. They don't fly. They lay eggs. And it's daddy that takes care of the egg most of the time. Okay, I have the arms here. One and two. Now, the body, the big one, the body. All right, I have my body. And the belly. You know, the belly was supposed to be white, but I, col but I colored black anyway. So you can do however you wanna do it, okay? You can keep the belly white, you can color it with different colors, don't worry. Here, I have the belly and the eyes to finish. I have the eyes. Let me cut the eyes. One. And two. For this activity, you need a little bit of glue because we, we're going to glue all the pieces of our penguin together. So we start with the body. We put a little bit of glue in the body. It doesn't have to be a lot. And then we put there in your scenario. I do not have a scenario here, but it's okay. So this is the body. And now I need to put the belly of my penguin right here in the middle, okay? All right, the belly then. Can you see? Let's put a little bit of glue and we put the belly right here look now shall we put the arms so a little bit of glue in one arm and we are going to put the arm right here okay so one arm and then glue the other arm see <laughs> okay let's just put the eyes and then we're almost finished one eye, the other eye, <sighs> look at my penguin, <laughs> and the beak, because then it has this mouth, right? Oh my goodness, look how cute. I think I should put the arms more down, like here. I moved the arms a little bit. And now the, f the feet, just to finish, okay? One, and two. There we go. <laughs> Look how cute this penguin is. You can also do it, okay, with yours. You can color it, but it doesn't have to be black, okay? You can use any color you want. Just make your penguin and put them in the scenario that you have there. Or you can draw a different scenario, it doesn't matter, okay? I hope you have a lot of fun with this activity with the penguin. Bye!